गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना टीच यू अबाउट ट्रांजिट सिस्टम एंड हाउ टू यूज योर कंपस कार्ड और हाउ यू कैन ट्रैवल अराउंड इन द सिटी सो दिस इज दी एंट्री पॉइंट फिर यू हैव टू टैप योर कार्ड इज माई कंपस कार्ड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो एग्जिट देन अगेन यू हैव टू टैप आउट एंड गो buy it from here outside the station and buy a new compass card monthly pass is a 100 dollar pass if you want to go in zone 1 day pass is a 10 dollar pass you can go anywhere in metro and go or at store value if after you just at store so the store for the card you have to give a deposit of 5 dollars 6 dollars and you have selected a uh, balance of 5 dollars so you have to pay total 7 dollars you can use a debit card and credit card but here you have to use the system of tapping so you have to insert your debit card in there so that's how you do it and also you can uh, if you have don't have any station nearby so either you can go to any shoppers drug smart or any store they usually have it a compass card so you can buy it from there and also if you are a new comer in canada so if you don't have anything either you can tell your bus drivers to give you a ride people here are very kind so they usually give you a ride this is the metro and co transit map so here are three buses uh, sorry three metro stations one is canada line one is expo line and one is millennium line okay so if everything is like this this is a rapid bus so from waterfront to surrey that is the Expo line and from waterfront that is downtown to Richmond that is another city that is a Canada line. And the Canadian line starts from commercial BC it starts from BCC it goes up to Coquitlam that is another city. So one, one more thing guys I am on Expo line. right now i'm outside joy station and if i want to go from expo line i can take the r4 from here and i can go to canada line or if i want to go to millennium line i am at joy station so i will go to commercial broadway or i can take a bus from here and even if you don't want to take the bus you can go down to downtown to waterfront station and then take a canada line to the is one more thing this is metro and coal So why it is called Metro Vancouver? Vancouver, Burnaby, Coquitlam, Richmond, and North Vancouver. All of them come, don't come in Vancouver. They come in different cities. But because they have connectivity of metro, that is why it is called Metro Vancouver. So wherever you can see the metro train, so that is called Metro Vancouver. So that's a nice. You can learn. Also for the zones, there are three different zones. So Vancouver comes in zone one. If you are working in Zone One, it will be Vancouver. If you are working in Burnaby, so that will be Zone Two. If you are working in North Vancouver, it will be again Zone Two. If you are working in Richmond, that will be again Zone Two. If you are working anywhere in Surrey or Coquitlam, that will be Zone Three. So if you are working every day and you need to buy a pass, so it's better you buy a monthly pass for Zone One. If you are traveling from Zone One to Zone Two, it's better you buy two zones pass. So did you know that? Vancouver has the best transit system in the entire North America. So if you don't have a car, don't worry, you will survive here. Guys, now I'm at the station, and I will show you a difference. As you can see, guys, this is Torquing George platform two. So these trains is going to Surrey, and this is platform one, the waterfront. This all is going to downtown. You can see this board. It's on every station, so you can understand which station you are on and which station is next and where it is going. As you can see, guys, the trains are quite bigger and nice compared to the Canada line. So the Expo line is quite nice. and better than GTA
and also you can see this board where you can see which station you are at right now so right now we are at Nanaimo and our last station is waterfront and this is the Millennium and the Expo line so this information board is very important so for Granville I'm here so it helped me to understand that I have reached Granville and I can look out and get down so this is very important look out this is the Granville station nice and clean and it's underground it's my university and it's an underground station more thing if you're coming as an undergrad student like if you're coming after your 12th grade so your age will be around 17 or around 18 so you can get a discounted card which is a yellow card which is very good like for all three zones it has a standard amount of 60 bucks so you can get that one and also some people who study in universities some public universities they usually provide free uh, compass cards so you should look out for that and also one more tip uh, your bus if you are only traveling by bus right so in bus it's only zone one maybe you can travel from zone one to zone three doesn't matter in bus it's only zone one one more thing if you have the compass card and if you don't have the monthly pass so for every tap you do it's for two fifty dollar two dollar fifty cents and that pass is valid only for 90 minutes so within 90 minutes if you go in zone one it will be 250 if you go to zone two it will be three dollars three fifty dollars so that's how it increases and also one more thing on weekends like saturday and sundays it is a Oh, every zone is zone one only so it doesn't matter if you go from Vancouver to Surrey it's like zone one only because Saturday weekends and start holidays it's all zone one passwords everywhere in metro and over in buses in trains in sea buses also there is a sea bus which goes from Vancouver to North Vancouver so you can tap it over there also and one last step I would like to give so if you're traveling only by bus for example so bus usually it is a cash fare you have to put cash only then only you get a bus ticket so that bus ticket is valid for like uh, sometimes they give you the whole ticket so it's valid for the whole day so that is better if you're just going somewhere which is bus only you need a bus so that is a good deal because usually people tap in tap out it's five dollars every time if you're coming from zone one zone two it's like more expensive as you can see the opposite bus coming from the opposite side for example the 22 going to downtown so that is going on the opposite side to downtown so now on the op i am on the opposite side the down the 22 number is going to the ninth street as you can see over here and also these will help you indicate where are the bus going and also you can see the n and 15 and 19 and 24 these are the night buses which operate in the night so guys the transit is it shuts at one o'clock in the night and the canada line just because it is uh, from starts from the airport it starts at five o'clock in the morning uh, 4 30 in the morning i guess 4 30 or 5 but it's very early and the expo line it starts really late and on the weekends it's like very late so i used to live on canada line so that is way better than living there like on the camby street anywhere there the transit closes at night there are night buses so you should always check for night buses if you are coming outside if you are coming to club and the transit is shut if you are going out hanging out with friends so you should check for night buses usually the transit system is super good like i have never had a problem with the transit here to tell you one thing on sundays and on start holidays the transit runs very slow and some buses even don't run on Sundays and everything closes very early the transit closes very early on Sunday so most of the restaurants here you'll see it closes super early on Sundays so just look out for that if you're new to Vancouver so these are the tips and tricks so guys if you want to stop the bus how you do it press this in this the street. next stop yes choice or you street. have the stop button yes I will show you the stop button now this is the stop button and when you come into the bus you have to tap here 
Well, either in front or you can see this. I'm almost done with my video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below and I can answer them. And if you like this video, please like this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell like. Thank you.